Hello everyone and welcome to this week's healing session. We continue our Hogwarts House series moving on today to our Slytherins. If you're part of the Slytherin House, let me know in the comment section down below. Welcome you. I am a Slytherin myself. So this is a really fun video for me. Who would have thought of you guys that I am part of that house? <laughs> I know sometimes when I tell people that they're surprised a little bit, but if they know me pretty pretty well, they're like, yeah, it it does make sense. It does. So yes, even though the bad reputation that Slytherin gets. They have pretty amazing traits, they're ambitious people, they're resourceful, they're assertive, they're mysterious, they are charming. Say what you want about Slytherin being all bad people, but some of the Slytherin people are really charming in their own twisted way. Um, so I don't know, I consider myself to be charming, so I can say it does um match pretty well <laughs> but yeah we're gonna get right into the session with their most known trait which is being ambitious so let's amplify that in your personality traits because it's something we all can benefit a lot so ambitious you might have some goals that you really really want to achieve and this is gonna help you out quite a lot Just strengthening that quality trait so you may achieve whatever goals you have set for yourself and it's actually really funny because when this video goes up we're pretty close to leo season and leos there are some of the people that are the best at being in the spotlight and as well as when they want something they know they will get it because they think of them they have kind of like a little bit of a god complex along the sagittarius as well i would know because i do have one a little bit but i think that's what helps them out so good knowing that they just can achieve anything they put their mind to and think about it since slithering is mostly made of pure blood and they have this mindset of they're better than everyone else i think that's also what makes them really successful i'm not saying that it's the best quality trait to think you're above everyone else but it does like that kind of like delusion helps them I, along the way i would say that as much as possible because if one thing I know being ambitious really helps out a lot in life I when I was looking for my hairdresser apprenticeship I got so many times rejected it took me three years to find a place where I could do it but I told myself, I'm not going to stop until I get this. I want to do this and I'm going to get it. And it took me three years. And in those three years, I didn't, I didn't stop at all. So sometimes it's best to just, you know, pull through no matter what. Which brings us to our next part, which is resourceful. 
I think here that it is great to work with what you have and use it to your advantage. Okay. So whatever it is that you have around, maybe you have some specific skills in that area. So use that to your advantage for everything you can in life. But if you lack something, probably you can be like, I'm not going to look at it as a weak point. It's always something to improve and it will get stronger over time. Maybe you are pretty good at DIY. I think that's also like falls into the category of being resourceful. That let's say you need something or you want something for your house, but you know, the original one is pretty expensive, but you can DIY it. I have a huge respect for people that can do DIY. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> but yeah, whatever being resourceful means to you. Just gonna amplify that even more. Bring that more forward it if it <coughs> bring it more forward if it is a little bit of your hidden traits. You know, don't shy away from it. Slytherins are pretty determined about what they think, what they want, what viewpoints that they have. Not always the best ones, but <laughs> I want you to be so fully confident in everything that you do that you can say with a determined mindset, I can do this and nothing can stop me. With this amethyst to help us out. I'm gonna close the window real quick because I always have to be interrupted. I have to say, always, every single day out of the week, work people can do the work. It always has to be when I'm filming.
Slytherins are pretty assertive people. They don't hold back from whatever it is they want to say to appear, kind of, or like, is that the right word? Um, but I'm gonna use this Cornelian since it is mostly known as an actual crystal. And also gives confidence to bring forward your assertive side. And I know in this society where we are, where it is like the people pleaser concept has been so pushed onto us. We need a little bit more of assertive people. This can also really be an assertive help with setting boundaries and saying no. <laughs> this can really help. Like for example, Slytherins, if you, they don't do something just because someone tells them to do, unless it's their parents, but you know, they're not gonna like have some classmate of them being like, oh, I want you to clean that up for me, please. You're such a nice person. They're like, no, I don't want to do this. Do it yourself. And that's the vibe we need a little bit more. Let the people please tendencies be left away from your vocabulary or like your active traits. Next, we're going to raise your mysterious vibes. I'm just going to go here through the whole energetic body. I know some of you probably like telling people as much as possible of you if you feel comfortable <clears throat> but sometimes 
it can be kind of like when you don't know that person all too well it is sometimes a little bit better to just you know withhold the information i know that a lot of people that went through trauma they sometimes tend to overshare but just because they feel that need that when they're comfortable with the person they miss that point of connection so they oftentimes don't even realize they're doing that and that's when we us revealing so much already at the beginning can be kind of off-putting because people are attracted to the unknown oftentimes right so if we feel like we already know everything about that person at one go it kind of like mm, destroys that nice getting to know process You know, it, it doesn't make it as interesting anymore. And this not only goes for relationships, friendships, even when, when you're with strangers, there are a lot of people that subconsciously, unconsciously trauma dump without them even realizing. That's also something that we're removing here with, you know, removing the need to tell everything which makes us in turn a little bit more mysterious also uh, a mysterious energy can oftentimes be a little bit more alluring, attractive which is why when you see someone attractive in the street you seeing that person on the street sometimes what makes them really attractive is not really the physical appearance but not knowing anything about them you just see them you're like wow this is a complete stranger you know that kind of vibe And lastly, we're gonna make you super, super charming with this citrine.
finishing up with an hour of love. You now have a nice slithering energy going on to support you on your endeavors. I hope you enjoyed this session and thank you so much for being here with me and letting me do this. I hope to see you in our next session. Until then, I hope everyone is safe and healthy. Until the next time, my friends, goodbye.